It is officially a brand new car. In this video, we are going to be installing a brand new digital cluster from the 2023 Minis into my 2016 F55 Cooper S. Currently in there, we have this old style analog gauge. It has this really cool phone mount onto it that actually has USB so you can power it. But now that we have a new infotainment system, we don't actually need our phone in front of our face because we have maps on the 8.8 inch screen beside us. Tear this open. Make a ton of noise. I'm not gonna peel off the sticky until it's installed as well. So this is the new digital cluster. We have uh, bought for the most port behind it and we are ready to install it. It looks absolutely fantastic. As you're watching this video, if you like it, make sure that you like and you subscribe as it really helps us out. But most of all, enjoy the video. My name is Ethan and welcome to Car Creations. How do you know if your car is compatible with a new digital cluster? Well, what you need to do is take apart your screen. So you take off your screen and you can actually take a look at our last video, link to it in the description below. And in that video we show how to take off the screen when we installed the new infotainment system. But you can follow those steps and what you want to do is check your head unit for a little port. So you take off the quad lock connection here right here and then you want to look in there for these two little circles right there. And those are extremely important because without them you can't install the digital cluster. So if you have that, we can connect a MOS cable between this and your digital cluster. You already have a heads up display, you already have that port, and you also don't need a MOS cable. So that would be good news for you. All right, let's get this on my car because we've installed a brand new entertainment and it already has this port. Before you install it, just as you're about to put it on, make sure you take off this little red piece right here and it just pops right out. And that is where the MOS cable plugs in. Talking about the MOS cable. Here is the MOS cable and this We'll be plugging right into the very top, right here. Please take a look at the video that we did last week. We'll leave a link to it in the description as well as right here, where we installed a brand new infotainment system. And in that video, we'll show you how to take off the old screen and then put it back on again. And you can use that video to help you take off the screen to be able to plug the most cable in. So now we have this open, we can access the most port right here to put the most cable in. So we're just gonna reach in here and we're gonna take out these two Torx 15 screws on the digital cluster. Don't lose them. Last time I did this, I lost them. I just know I'm gonna lose them. Yay, I didn't lose it. Then you just pull the cluster towards you. No, come out. There we go. Now this specific cluster has the uh, mini edition, the click and drive edition on it. So there'll be some extra cables here. So we're just disconnecting wire going to it. All right, old cluster out. Now we can run our mouse cable. Be very careful with it. And go all the way down here. So then this will click right into the top. Plug that right there. Absolutely beautiful. All right, time for the exciting part to install this digital cluster. We're just gonna connect some of the ports here. Take off this red piece now, very carefully. Because this is fiber optics that we're dealing with. And then we're gonna plug this one in. Clicks into place. And then we're gonna feed this back a little bit. And then we're gonna plug the other port in as well. It's a little bit finicky to try to get to because you're trying to work in a small amount of room here. But I'm just kind of feeling it out with my fingers back here. Clicks into place, perfect. You just have to lay it on top and angle it into place. Let's wiggle back and forth carefully. Don't break your screen. Screen is on. Now we just have to put the screws in. We're so close. So one's going in there. This job is a lot easier if you have a magnetic screwdriver, just as a uh, little tip. Cause I don't have a magnetic screwdriver. <laughs> this car is looking brand new inside. All right. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn on the car and you're gonna see a ton of codes on here, but that is when we're gonna have to code it. Now for coding, we're gonna use Beamer Fixes. So if you're interested in a cluster with coding as well as installation support, reach out to us. If you're interested in just the coding, also reach out to us and you can contact us on Instagram at carcreationsyt or an email at carcreationsyt at gmail.com. We'd be happy to help you out. You can try to code it yourself, but you're dealing with your mileage and if you mess that up, you'll get a tamper error on here that you have to take to the dealership. And then it's actually a lot of money to try to get that fixed. So we're just gonna get it done by a professional and hopefully it'll be all coded and working perfectly. And this paired with our new screen, looking absolutely fantastic. And if you're interested in these new dash panels that you might see in this video, also take a look at their video from next week as we install that and there's a bunch of goodies that go along. All right, let's see what this does when we turn on the car. Waited for it to get dark here so you can kind of see this a little bit better. Finally have the cluster all working. It's <laughs> showing a low tire because I don't have the TPMS sensors in right now. I think what we can do now is peel off our plastic wrap. It is officially a brand new car. Look at that. 
That'll be absolutely fantastic. So excited right now. <laughs> Pair that with this, with uh, this. Oh my goodness, it's looking good. Okay, so we have this digital cluster all installed. It's looking fantastic. It has the icon of the car on there. You can see when each one of the doors are open, when the hood's open, etc. I'm loving it. It's such a welcome addition to this car because on the screen below, it adds the functionalities like showing the maps for the road that you're traveling on. If you get a gas warning light or if you get any warning lights, it doesn't get rid of the speed in front of you. It just shows up in the lower part of the screen. And also, it just looks more modern and fantastic, really, and I love it. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you see this beautiful screen here, that is the previous video, so make sure you check that out. You'll also notice that we have the dashboard from the new LCI2 car installed as well. So check out our next video because we're going to be installing that and it is fantastic. We hope you enjoyed the video, but most of all, hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and we'll see you all in the next one. Fantastic. So we hope you enjoy... Uh, come on. Wind, wind, wind. Um, if you hear it like blowing past year, that's why it's too strong, but okay. it's good.